Yeah. Yo, Skid, what's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, Pooh. C-Y-G-G, -G. man, and I'm back with another reaction video, and today, we're about to be reacting to a huge new update on the EDP-445 situation. I honestly thought EDP was done with the cupcake situation and everything, and we seen him try to make a comeback with his websites and stuff, everything again turned down. I didn't even know it's still getting worse for him, but anyways, man, link to the original video will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification button if you want to be notified whenever I'm making a video. With that being said... Let's jump into this video. Also, I, we we need to find out how we gonna introduce you when, when we, we get your name and stuff down back. We gonna we got we gotta come up with a name for the introducer. Uh, well, she gonna give me a name. The Golden Child. Golden Child. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Before she says sunflower power, I know you know. It. Let's do this. Four five has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks as a result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. He's apparently completely out of money, and as a result, has been evicted from a few different properties, and he's now living out of a suitcase That's in a couple of unconventional, crappy locations. <laughs> However, the craziest update in the EDP four four five tragedy is that only three weeks ago, according to one of his former YouTube buddies by the name of Felipe, the big man himself. Yeah, I remember the Felipe dude. He surprised EDP on his birthday, shared a room with him, let EDP eat three Philly cheesesteaks and tap the, the bathroom. He said he was farting throughout the whole night, but he was he was happy to inhale that fart because he was a fan and a friend. I don't care how much of a fan of a friend oh, I, I am. You're not going to fart because I'm a fan or a friend, you know. This is the um, Henderson, Nevada Detention so Center. Henderson. Inmate Brian Morton was right to receive the call. And I said, I said, yes. Things have gotten so bad for him. My boy put his whole go. He said, Brian Moreland. He put his whole government. He, the right now as we speak, he's applying to have his name legally changed. However, in a world of tit for tat where you unavoidably reap what you sow, it's hard to say that this punishment is undeserving. And in this video, you'll see how bad things can truly become if you plant weeds in your garden as opposed to flowers. To what extent should a person's life be ruined for the mistakes made in their own past? At what point, if ever, should EDP-445 be forgiven for his own foolish decisions? Does EDP-445's work completed prior to his cancellation hold any residual value? Or was it rendered completely and utterly useless from the second he showed up to that no cursed way. Bakersfield yeah, well. motel? We asked this last question because prior to the 18th <laughs> of April 2021, things were actually going reasonably well for EDP-445. If you look at his social blade graph, you'll see that he gained 500 20,000 subscribers over the course of two months in April. My boy EDP was racking them up, but oh, every time I think of EDP, I think of somebody said easily the pedophile. <laughs> Every time, man. May of 2020, people loved him because he was one of the last few YouTubers who had absolutely no filter. He was unconcerned about ad revenue and therefore swore like a trooper while tackling some of the most crass yet hilarious topics. EDP 445's unconventional mind was always spoken honestly, so he stood out as unique. It's not surprising either. In a world where everyone else online is always walking on eggs. Mm -hmm. That's face look like that. Anyways, man, the reason why people liked EDP mostly because during that era where we was transitioning from old YouTube into modern day YouTube before the ad, the adpocalypse and stuff, people liked the people who was uncensored. So the, the Kane Carters, the spoken reasons and all those, before those people found out, it was like, dang, old YouTube is dying. And then we felt like, oh, there is EDP, a person who's uncensored. He don't care about ad revenue. He don't care about... He just keeping it real. And then after that, you got, you know, um, and I'm not comparing them together, but then you got Long Beach Griffith. Who I was, need to bring him up. Yeah, Long Beach Griffith, who is not PC culture at all. He makes whatever jokes he wants to, and I he just has fun. So. I love Long Beach Griffith. Yeah, yeah, and we both do. Approach to life was somewhat refreshing for those who saw the world in a similar way. However, of course, such an approach wasn't without controversy. In 2017, as a result of his unconventional content, he'd be banned from YouTube for a period of two weeks, while Twitter was a little harsher, placing a ban on his main EDP 445 account permanently. Additionally, after hitting 1 million subscribers in early 2020, YouTube refused to send EDP a gold play button, stating that the channel didn't match their eligibility criteria. Because according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria and i'm like my channel has zero community guideline strikes it has mm -hmm. zero copyright strikes edp would gain support from other luck i think somebody had custom made him a on um, play button too if i'm correct when that happened somebody reached out to him and they custom made him 
a YouTube play button where he ain't even have to pay for it, and which was dope. A YouTuber such as some ordinary gamers who stated that the refusal was stupid. YouTube, can you just give this dude his play button? If he doesn't get his play button, I'ma buy him his play button. Well, ADP was also made a custom YouTube play button by a fan of the channel, displaying the yep. love and support he had from the community at the time. However, perhaps YouTube and Twitter were able to see something objectively that those who loved and supported him could not. They might have seen that a man with such an unfiltered mind may have also been hiding some dirty skeletons in the closet and correct is what they would eventually be. On the 18th of April 2021, ADP 445 was caught in 4K on his way to pick up a okay. cupcake. The topic was covered <laughs> ADP 44K by almost everyone in the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you have at least heard of the EDP 445 situation. Creators who supported him in the past, such as some ordinary gamers, would upload a video titled EDP 445 needs to be arrested immediately. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was revealed that a similar situation had occurred as many as eight times prior, many considered EDP unforgivable and his life would subsequently <laughs> descend into a state of chaos, what you might call the beginning of the end. I feel like it was a shock to a lot of people when they found out about EDP, but to me, I don't know why, but it was like when I heard it the first time, I was like, uh, I don't know. And then everybody was like, man, I, I listen to EDP for everything. It's people who was even listening to EDP for political advice. Who, what? Uh, who would listen to EDP <laughs> for political advice? I still don't get that. I, I don't know. 445 would lose 200,000 subscribers, almost 10% of his entire count. However, how many followers he lost initially didn't actually matter, because seven days later, his remaining 2 million subscribers would disappear entirely after YouTube decided to ban his account altogether. At the time of his banning, ADP was exactly 30 years old, and had been creating content since 2010 when he was 19 years old. So the 179 million views deleted in the process meant that his entire portfolio of work completed in his 20s, 10 plus years worth of life labor was wiped out by literally overnight. No One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 445 no longer deserved either his celebrity status or any kind of record relating to any of his work completed in the past. Another method that EDP had for earning an online income was Cameo. You could order a personalized video and get EDP to say anything you instructed him to for the low price of $44. However, following the low price of $44? That's going to be like $5. <laughs> the low price Bro, $40 ain't cheap. Infamous cupcake event. Cameo would be contacted by numerous individuals who would receive responses along the lines of, Hey there, thank you for reaching out. Our team is aware of the allegations and are actively investigating this. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Kindly, Melita. Less than a week later, EDP 445's Cameo account was deleted. Another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP 445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers, he'd be banned from got really It was the same story over on Instagram. His main account was terminated, was at which point EDP Facebook? was likely coming to terms with the harsh reality of his cancellation. However, just before his Facebook was deleted, he'd make one final interesting announcement. He planned on making his own website to which he would continue posting videos. EDP445 announced over on Facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his I'm own website to return to his old video type, I guess. This one let you guys know, man, ED I don't know why I feel uncomfortable every time I see him with his shirt off. Maybe because... Potato. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a damn potato, but like ugh, I don't know what it is, man. You look like a never mind. He look like a that. smooth dookie. That's what he look like. Oh my god. ep four four five dot com. Um, it's coming soon. Been been about like a week, maybe two weeks from now. EDP four four five seemingly got to the point of fully building the website, as discussed by Tipster here on YouTube. It still says coming soon. Still says today's date. It does look like EDP is actually serious about this whole launching a website thing. However, after an apparent falling out with his website developer, as mentioned in a Reddit comment, the launch seemed to fail. Update, the website is now returning an error 500. So it looks like he's been having a little bit of trouble launching the site. Hasn't been working so well for him. And to this day, the page remains as an unlaunched, inactive website. In spite of how much of a scumbag EDP 444... I remember that. He came back eating a cupcake to so troll petty. people. He was he like, oh yeah, y'all got me for eating a cupcake. I'm gonna eat this cupcake and y'all feel like, bro, you can't troll somebody with something you literally did. That's that's like R. Kelly trying to come back and do a performance with a 12 year old. Don't and being like, y'all, no. yeah, since y'all said I did a performance with a 12 year old, here go a 12 year old twerking on stage. Like, no, you can't do that. That's so we, we know you did it. 
you can't fake something that people know you did. I truly was. Why you have to give him credit for like sheer it. determination because he then began to upload videos on another third party website called Three Speak TV where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. <laughs> he wrote, for some reason my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. They I didn't report you. any guideline. Can you please tell me what's going on? EDP. After this ban, it seemed as though EDP 445 was slowly getting the message from each and every website. His career on the internet was finished. However, the internet wasn't finished with ending his career. Rich from Review Tech USA would state that he might be able to get a job working somewhere like Starbucks. However, it was only going to be so long before the trolls would come and inform them of his past. Mm -hmm. But I don't even know if you can get a damn job at Starbucks and keep it because you know the trolls are going to come after you and say, True. oh yeah, that guy you just hired, I wouldn't keep him employed. You'd probably lose a job at that coffee shop too, real quick. Rich would be correct in this statement. Um, let's be honest. Would y'all really want EDP making y'all venti mocha latte with three whips and a little bit of strawberry and vanilla extract? Would y'all really want EDP making that for y'all and then calling y'all name? And you see a big EDP look like the type he'll take a sip out of your coffee before you give it back to you. <laughs> Lennon Jimenez would expose ADP 445's Lyft profile. Bro went from wanting cupcakes to driving for Lyft. His position as a driver since he was removed by the company. Dang, okay. No discussion with one post stating ADP as a Lyft driver, how the mighty have fallen, which received comments such as, Can you take me to the grocery store? I'm going to go buy some cupcakes. <laughs> and I hope there's a game on food delivery apps. MF would eat my fries and I'd have missing slices of pizza. However, somewhat hilariously, it was revealed shortly thereafter that ADP had in fact been driving for both Uber. Eats and Grubhub, which would also go <laughs> by. They said that he was they was missing food every time they ordered through EDP. And uh, and you know what's sad, bro? Knowing him, he probably really was giving them their food, but since they didn't like him and he was fat, they just made sure they just added to. It. Hey man, destroying this man. Hey, I was missing a couple chicken. I ordered a ten piece and I got back one. I, exactly, I got back <laughs> one. He ate how much? Club and Uber Eats. And all three of those companies fired him. According to Dang. a very basic unconfirmed source, EDP also apparently applied a Chuck E. Cheese, but for obvious What? <laughs> Hold on. I almost cursed. He just keep coming around trying to get around girls, huh? <laughs> of all the places you apply, you trying to apply for Chuck E. Cheese around kids. EDP 445 no longer had the ability to make money online or in real life as this revealed. Unless he were to find some extremely low skilled niche job where they wouldn't check his name online and where he wouldn't have to interact with any customers who might expose him to whichever company he might be working for. With so many obstacles in the way of finding even the most basic of jobs, it's hardly surprising to find out that EDP has been attempting to change his name legally. The applicant- I mean, he probably could've just got a call center job, so. Yeah, he, he could have got a they call. Don't be an adult. He would talk to. Exactly, he could have called a call on the job. He didn't want to do nothing too hard. Mm. Information shown on screen states that Brian Morland applied for a name change with the Nevada County Court on the 21st of October 2021. The strange part about this is that when you try and search the court register from the Reddit post by typing in his name, Bryant Morland, it now states that there are no results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer known as Bryant Morland. As you can see, I did type in his name, Morland Bryant, submit. No results found. However, the problem with this, as outlined by the ADP 445 subreddit, is that he's not exactly hard to spot. This idiot thinks this will fix anything, Lameo. He'll sure. be spotted everywhere no matter his name. He should flee to Cuba or something like this. Changing his name isn't a good idea since it's gonna get leaked anyways. What good does changing a name do when you're as easily recognizable as him, LOL? He and he throws hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant. <laughs> Damn. Perhaps the goal is to have his name hidden for long enough in order to get a job, as other sources state that he's been unsurprisingly struggling with money. He's broke. Like, YouTube made him money, but after having that, he got it broke real quick. A user by the name of Master at Work, who was one of the people trying to expose EDP all the way back in 2020, stated in October that EDP had less than $3,300 cash left in his account. How the hell y'all know this? Hackers, baby. Oh. Uh. 
plus two cars and a couple of other things that he might be able to sell. The only income that he has, other than the 3,300 that he has left in his bank account, is maybe the 40 grand in weapons and the two cars that oh, he Oh, yeah, he However, bought a lot of two guns. since October. He he's already used guns. his car's license plate to confirm that EDP 445 has sold one of his cars, possibly indicating that his cash stack has dwindled even further. In the same live stream during which Master at Work would discuss EDP's financial situation, it also mentioned that EDP had been evicted from his apartment complex as the property owner received numerous complaints about having him as a tenant. Call up Spur Apartments and verify it for yourself. Um, EDP will no longer be living at Spur Apartments. The reason why he got evicted is because of cons constant harassment the property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suitcase at various hotels. However, Damn. even then, his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens I'm to be sorry. staying. He's a danger to everyone in here. Okay, so I just called security. Yeah. Go ahead and let security know all I will information. be more than happy to let them know. Thank you very much. EDP's detractors... Damn, they is on him no matter where he go, bro. You... Like, bro, that's got to be hell, bro. I know that's got to be hell. He can't even get a simple job. No matter what he do, like, they own you, bro. They own you. I mean, I understand what he did was wrong, but these people apparently have no life to be <laughs> tracking this nigga down and throwing papers here, you know? Hey, they... But hey, at the same time, they felt like if the police would have did their job, they wouldn't have had to do this. But since the police ain't do their job, they is... Whoo! I, I can't say they wrong and I can't say they fully right. I mean, I just said both sides. It's yeah, just, it's on both sides. Like, damn. I just like, feel like they have no life. <laughs> like, dang, they own him. Anything, an arrest or a short stint in prison would almost make his circumstances more comfortable. We'll preface this part by stating that there have been numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested, yet provided no evidence or reason for the arrest. EDP has been arrested. Today's October 25th, it is 11.30 at night, and EDP has been arrested today. And he was actually arrested today. But I don't know what he was arrested for. This claim clearly lacks credibility. People in the comments requested evidence, to which there seems to be none. However, a former friend of EDP 445 by the name of Felipe claims to have some stronger evidence pertaining to the potential arrest of EDP 445. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd uploaded a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number stating that it was EDP 445 who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. So the third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson, Nevada uh, Detention Center inmate for for Brian Moreland. Would you like to receive the, the call? And I like hung up, you know, and then called again. And the same the same thing happened, you know, would you like to receive a call? So I, pre I said yes, because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see like, holy sh like he got arrested, like, like, Wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least, and Felipe's character is suspect at best. He only gets views when he talks about EDP 445, and without EDP on the internet... Another question I would, ask, I would like to ask, is this around the time that he supposedly got his name changed? Because if he supposedly got his name changed and then he made that call... I don't know, but you can... As, like, when you're making them prison calls, you can also say blank is making a call to you you say your name and then they choose to um see if they want to answer the call or not and stuff mm -hmm. like that so i mean i i really don't know and to defend himself anyone can say anything additionally if edp did successfully change his name in october or november as just said previously this would prove the story to be fake as I the guy said states that it was bryant moreland on the other end of the phone one comment stated looked up every inmate record in clark county which is where henderson is kern county which is where bakersfield is and manatee county which is where bradenton florida is which said that he was connected to online no bryant moreland is in any of those prisons in the end it doesn't really matter whether or not he's in actual prison as it's safe to to say that EDP is a man who made a mistake so bad that even outside of concrete prison walls, he barely has a drop of freedom. I'm gonna be honest, if it was up to EDP, I bet he was like, damn, I would have rather went to jail and got this over with than deal with every time I go somewhere, I can't even have a bit of freedom and I'm not even behind jail walls. Like every time you look up, you're getting fired. 
It's like I can say I feel bad for him, then again, I don't. I it don't. Was funny to me. I don't. But let me know what else you guys want to react to, man. Until next time, it's your man, Pooh. C Y G G. And I'm out.